taking this edition of First Trust Bank Coaches Corner inside the high-tech, well-equipped office of Billy Lang. All right, Billy, against the Toronto Raptors on Thursday, Dario Saric, a really nice game with 18 points, 10 rebounds. You guys, as a team, like to use your big men out of the elbows. How does that fit Saric's skill set? Well, because he's, you know, you could say he's a guard almost at 6'10 with a big bruising body that he has. It allows him to play at the elbow, to face the basket as a mid-range jump shooter, um, he can step off that elbow and play outside the three-point line. And from both of those places, he becomes a good driver and a good passer. So I actually pulled up a clip. It's Christmas. I figured let's give some gifts to the, to the crew today. And maybe a little visual will help everybody understand a little bit better. So, Brian, what we like to do a lot is we'll either use our bigs back down here in trail um, or playing on either of the elbow. And obviously with Joel in particular, we'll play him on either block. But even Joel can be dynamic from the blocks from the elbows and from the top. Dario is becoming a better post player. If he has the right matchup, we love him down there. But where Dario really excels is in this position here at the elbow. Because once he gets it, he's such a willing passer and guys are able to cut that he can now pass it on a high low. Here is to Amir. So Dario could come right there to Amir. He can play a two-man game over here with Ben Simmons or as Robert and Jared Bayless move and they start to cut off that movement, Dario can use his very good vision as a passer. In a situation like this here, you see he looks to give the ball to Ben. Toronto does an excellent job of denying Ben the ball. So now this is where it makes Dario really good. You can see his creativity. He looks like he's going to pass it, but then he uses his great footwork to drive the ball to the basket and make a really tough shot. On this drive, what makes Dario a great weapon for us is now once he gets the ball in here, we call this paint to great. If you get in the paint and you can take it, we want you to take it. But if you can cause help and kick out to either Jared or backwards here to Robert or dump off to Amir, you have all those options as a passer too. That's going from the paint, a good shot, to a great uncontested shot. So now as we watch this in real time, you can see just the elite footwork and vision that Dario has and just how creative and crafty he is from that elbow spot. And really, guys like Dario and Ursan last year and Joel now, we've tried to make our offense fit for their skill set in the elbow has been one of those places that they're pretty good. From the big screen to the big board now, let's talk about DeMar DeRozan. Yeah. He was firing from three early on, and he went for 45 points right. on Thursday. Well, I think before we get into why, what makes DeMar so hard to guard, what makes him almost impossible is when he's making threes like that. It's really uncharacteristic of his game. We've often talked as a coaching staff, if he ever developed either A, a three-point shot, or maybe he has it and just has the confidence to take it, he's almost unstoppable to guard. So six threes in a game, he's getting 18 points that usually you're not expecting him to even take them, let alone make them, Ryan, almost renders him impossible to guard. But where they use him, and this is what makes him hard inside the three-point line, is they'll play him in like one of these four spots. And he can play anywhere on the court, but it's these four where he'll primarily attack you from. Anything up in these top O's right here, he's just so good at driving the ball into the middle and creating contact. And once he gets into the lane, he's just got an old school fundamental pivot game that just gets guys for shot fakes. He can pivot and he can reach around you. So it's hard because you're using all your energy to just stop him from driving the ball. And then if he gets to the rim, he gets to the rim. If not, he's able to stop in here and he's got a whole bag of toys, you know, like Santa will be flying here in a couple days, that he can just pull out from in that pivot game and makes him impossible. The other thing he does a really good job of is if he's driving the ball baseline, once he gets down into this area, he's comfortable turning his back and now backing you into the lane almost like a post player. So you got to take away the drive. If you do that, then you got to stop him from backing you down. And once he starts getting into his back down game, or his baseline drive game, the key to stopping DeMar DeRozan from getting 45 if he doesn't make threes is to keep him off the foul line. He's one of the elite shot fakers in the NBA, and they've got two of them because Kyle Lowry is very good at it. Carmelo Anthony is a guy that's terrific at it for Oklahoma City. So if you, you got to stop him from here, you got to stop him from there, you got to stop him from here and here, which almost makes him unstoppable. But we'll do a better job, hopefully, in this second game. All right, well, this was a tremendous gift around the holiday season, getting inside the office yes, of Billy Lang. Merry Thanks Christmas, so brothers. You got it, man. Happy New Year to everyone. Take care.